Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I am finally posting the last bit of our Florida trip. I figured I'd add a little bit to it. Um, we really want to move to Florida and I am very behind on uploading like vlogs and updates on what's been going on. Um, so Shelby has already like been, you know, had the stuff posted and she had mentioned it. I don't, in one of her videos or her lives that, you know, we really enjoyed the area. We want, we're like dead serious like that. We want to move down there. And um, surprisingly, she got a lot of flack for it. Like people say, oh, you you only visited right here. You don't even know what Florida's like. You haven't even seen Florida, you know. You were just on vacation. Of course, you wanna move there and stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna address some of that stuff um, at the end of this video. So stick around, or if you don't like when I talk, I know some people don't like when I talk, so go ahead and cut it. But uh, you wanna hear about it, go ahead and watch. But uh, enjoy the video. Well, it's the day we leave. Um, I am going right now. It's uh, almost nine o'clock, so we got to be out of there by ten. Um, but we can still have like we can still like go to the pool and stuff all day. Um, I don't think we're gonna though because it's trying to pack everything and like luggage in the van would just suck. So uh, probably I don't really know what we're doing to be honest with you. So. We board the plane at 6.10, so we'll probably be there between four and five. Um, maybe a little bit earlier. Probably stop at like some gift shops or something on the way there because we have like a lot of time to burn. But uh, right now I am going to vacuum this thing out, which is kind of dumb because I gotta rant about this little thing a little bit, which is no fault of like Turo or whatever, but like we run it from Turo, which is like basically we like borrowed somebody's personal car and this isn't their personal car they just rent this thing out i guarantee it but uh make a lot of money on it but um so when you rent from turo you know there's all these guidelines you know the car's got to be clean when you return it the same amount of fuel you know yada 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 no damage stuff like that when we got this thing stupidly i should have like did like a little walk around took some pictures but uh the right blinker doesn't work when you turn it on like the front blinkers out so i was like you know i was like i'm a car person i can change that out real quick you know it's no big thing a couple bucks for a bulb it is what it is the first time we went to walmart i bought a bulb for it and then i left walmart a few minutes before them checked out before them and i was like i'm gonna go out in the parking lot and change that bulb okay cool no big deal oh i get it's such a tight little area where that little bulb is i finally get it out and first off the bulb that's in there is like the completely wrong bulb um i don't even know how they got it to fit but because of that the socket is just toast like it looks like they've super glued it it looks like they tried all kinds of different glues to get the bulb to work i'm like oh, you know if you put the right bulb in there would have been no issues um so long story short the socket doesn't work so i spent six bucks on a new bulb and it doesn't even work um, so, you know, we've been driving this whole time with a blinker out, which is really annoying. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. The AC in this thing, I was telling you guys that, I think in the one video when I was sitting at Walmart, like when you're stopped and it's like above 80 outside, which is like 99% of the time, the AC doesn't work basically. Like it just blows like regular temperature air almost, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, like, and again, long story long. Um, as we were, as we've been driving, there's just been junk we found everywhere, water bottles, food, food wrappers, you know, the floor mats are pretty dirty, so I'm just like, you know, it's, I'm gonna clean it, because that's what you're supposed to do, but I'm just like, definitely gonna talk to these people, you know, we rented a vehicle that was dirty, the AC doesn't really work that great unless you're moving, um, the blinker's out, you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying to get like a free ride or anything like that, but those are definitely like a few you know ac like in florida the ac needs to be working you know in tip-top shape like there's no excuse for that like that's just especially if you're renting a vehicle out you need to d disclose that and offer you know a, a cheaper price like hey by the way the ac doesn't work that good you know that's why the price is low or something i don't know but oh my god i just finished vacuuming this thing takes forever to vacuum and it's like 85 degrees and i'm just sopping wet sweat i should have came and did this before i took a shower with it and it washed man they got like washes anywhere from 
six dollars up to like eighty dollars like for a wash and wax and stuff like that I'm like jesus which i mean i know waxing is quite a process but Say, I think that's another one. Tell her I love her too. The new one. What? You gonna get it, Caleb?
I'm gonna buy them and make Caleb and you guys try it. Which one should I get? Not so. Are you nervous to try it? It's a bug. <laughs> it's fake. They, they no, they're sell, real. They want to sell real bugs. These are probably made out of chocolate. Open it up, Caleb, and eat one. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's real. I don't even want to pour it out of my damn hand. <laughs> Let me see, Caleb. Seal? Seal? <laughs> How did they nice. kill him? Bugs. Bugs. You used to eat bugs. Damn, Jake! <laughs> eat it now, oh, both of you. <laughs> Caleb ate it. Did you eat it? <laughs> that was worse than the bug! <laughs> I'm only gagging because of pop. Can you take those back up? I'm going to pee. Yummy. There's Colonel Air Tornado going on outside and we're eating bugs. Eat it. it really is. Look at it out there. <laughs> cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Caleb just cheese. ate another one. He's eating it. He's eating another one. Is it good? Will you do it first and I'll do it? <laughs> Will you do it right after? Promise? You gotta do it. Ew, and its eyes. You just, didn't just, actually eat it. Yes, he did. He, he did, did two of them. What did it taste like? Cheese. <laughs> cheese, cheese. Alright, three. Cheese, eat it with cheese, me. Cheese, cheese, three, cheese, two, cheese, cheese, one. Cheese. Why aren't you eating it, I'm Nicole? Going to. I just want to make sure you eat it. I'm gonna yeah. shit up bugs. Oh my god, come on, on hurry. Quicker than them. Alright, three, two, one. It's actually in you my gotta mouth. Eat it. First. <laughs> it's better. It's Chew it. Oh. oh, it's still moving. Ah. Next time I hear a cricket outside, I'm going to eat that someday. Just swallow the rest of them back. Already. Caleb's going back. But give it a look. Before you eat them, do an ad. Say, I eat my breakfast of champions. I eat a lot of protein in the yeah. morning. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm about to run outside. <laughs> what did you say? Bug. <laughs>
face mask off because my nose is so. Please wear the face mask or covering. Got it covered on the nose. Negative for COVID or receive the COVID vaccine. This plane's kind of cheaper. When boarding's complete, we'll come through. It's a two-hour, twenty-seven-minute flight to Detroit. Thank you for your attention. Once again, welcome aboard. So we are back home now. It is, as I'm making this, it's actually September 1st. So we've been back home for a while. It's been like almost three months. Holy crap. It's not fair. That flew by. Um, but anyways, so we really don't travel much. Um, what you guys have seen on both mine and Shelby's channel is literally like our first times traveling. Like up until she went her and jake and all them went down to tennessee um last year um i wasn't able to go because i couldn't get time off work because my job sucks um and then we went to that cabin in hocking hills in february for shelby's birthday and then we went to florida and you know since then we've gone like a couple of things like putting bay and stuff but that's not really traveling you know that's like a one-day trip but uh 
that is more than we've ever traveled before like we've never done any like long distance stuff so we are also people that get and by the way if you don't like me talking like i know some of you guys just get bored or just want to see like action and footage and stuff uh, the rest of this isn't for you so go ahead and click back now but you know i would appreciate a thumbs up though but um so we're like very like homesick type people like i could go somewhere and stay for a day or two and i'm generally okay um shelby is usually more of like a she wants to be home every day you know at, at home in her own bed every day kind of girl um she was even like that you know when we dated i mean she would spend the night at my house well you know my mom's house but uh you know she never really she wasn't one that like spent the night you know a lot when she was younger at her friend's house you know most people stayed at her house and it's funny because that's how it was with me it, most of my friends stayed at my house but uh, i think that's more or less because my mom worked so much and she was like never home so my house even though i wasn't a partier and i didn't party uh my house could have like perfectly been the party spot when we were younger but anyways though like anytime we go away from home though just like even when i'm here like damn you know monroe sucks i hate it blah 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 you know I, I bitch and complain about all this other stuff but then as soon as i leave i'm like i miss it you know i just want to go back home and be in my comfort zone um when we went to florida like even like we go get hotel rooms you know once in a while just you know go swim and get out of the house and you know get something you know that's got a hot tub or whatever even that night when we're in the hotel room, just one night, and usually we get one close by, you know, so we can come back and, you know, let the dogs out and feed them and stuff like that. We're like, damn, you know, I, I'm having a blast, but I can't wait to get home. You know, I miss the dogs. I miss, you know, just being at home, you know, yada, yada, yada. But when we were in Florida, neither of us got that at all. Like, there was never a single minute that either of us were like damn you know I, I really miss being home you know i can't wait to get back the only thing that i miss and it was so hard for me was our dogs but that wasn't like a homesick thing that was just you know i miss them and you know i feel terrible that they're at home all day every day and granted like my mom was coming over to let them out and feed them um shelby's mom and dad were coming over and her dad was usually my mom would let them out for a while but not like you know super long but her dad would come over and like, you know, watch TV or watch a movie, you know, so they would just all be chilling and, you know, so that was really, really nice. Um, you know, really eased my worries and, you know, concerns about them, you know, just being cooped up all day, every day. And they weren't like in their cage or nothing like that. They had the whole utility room, which is, they sleep anyways. <laughs> but anyways, though, like that was the only thing, sorry, I'm like bumping my desk, that I missed or like was upset about when we were gone. So it was the the town we were in davenport um and i don't know how to pronounce this still kissimmee or kissimmee kissimmee whatever the hell it is um we were it was like 20 minutes outside of like orlando which was really cool because like 20 minutes you got you know um universal you've got disney world or disneyland whatever one's in florida i don't remember i know one's in florida one's in california and then sea world which we didn't go to, we went to the aquatic, we didn't go to Disney World, and we didn't go to SeaWorld, but we did go to, like, Aquatica or whatever, so I guess maybe technically that, I know that's part of SeaWorld, but it's, like, not the regular park, so I don't know what you want to call it, but, um, it was just so cool, like, we're, you know, basically right around the corner from those, there's, like, every store and, you know, business that you could imagine in the area that we were at, um, like Monroe, we have to drive to the opposite side of town for almost anything. And even over there, where it's a just insane amounts of traffic and stuff, there's not that much. Like, just Monroe doesn't have a lot to offer. We've always tossed around the idea of moving out of Monroe, whether it's farther north in Michigan, um, even down to Ohio, but neither of us are really big on that. We're just not really that fond of Ohio. No offense if you live there. Um, I worked there for like almost a decade now you know so i spend a lot of time down there but it would be hard for us to just like pack up everything like when we are financially ready and able to just be like all right i want to move you know let's buy a house or rent a house somewhere far away it would be extremely hard for me and her to just be like oh cool i like this house and then you go look at it like i really like it i like the area 
you know, let's rent it. Let's go through this big process of renting or buying it. And then, you know, like we don't like the area or, you know, we get homesick or something like that, or just something doesn't feel right. Um, when we were in Florida, it just like, I, I can't, a lady was moving to Florida and I told her, you know, how we had just got back from vacation there and we love the area. And I didn't even say where we went at first. She's like, was it Davenport? I was like, yes. How'd you know? And she's like, I love it down there. She's like, it just, it has that like down home feeling. Like it's, it's like, yeah, you were on vacation, but it was just so comfortable, you know? Like it wasn't that like, you know, you're sitting on a white sandy beach, you know, in your bathing suit and getting margaritas delivered to you all day type of vacation, but more of like a, I could really see myself living here and, you know, working in this area type of thing, which, you know, of course we're on vacation and thoroughly enjoyed it, but you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. But Shelby had mentioned that in one of her videos, she was like, we really kind of like are considering moving down there and it wouldn't be anytime soon. It'd probably be a couple years at best because I've got a lot of debt I need to pay off. You know, she's got a couple credit cards that she's working on paying off and we like to get more financially stable, you know, and, and bump our credit up and have some money in the bank. Once I pay a lot of my debts off, I can put a good amount of money in the bank, you know, because I'll have less, you know, monthly obligations, you know, financially to pay for. And, um, you know, hopefully by then my YouTube channel's kind of taken off a little bit, you know, that'd be a little bit more income. But she had mentioned, you know, us wanting to move down there and, you know, thinking about it and, you know, like we literally, we were on Zillow, like pricing out houses and they are very comparably priced to what we're used to. You know, obviously it's a little bit more expensive, but, um, it was very reasonable but she had mentioned that and she just got all kinds of like comments and just hate basically saying like oh you didn't even go to you know you you were in one town blah 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 um you didn't even see this you didn't even do that um you know of course you want to move there you were on vacation so it's completely different um you know just all kinds of stupid comments like that and you know sure some of them kind of are valid i guess you know i'm sure a lot of people take a vacation and are just like oh my god i love this area i want to move here but we didn't have that experience. It wasn't just like a, oh my God, this was so fun. I want to live here. Obviously, you know, anywhere you go on vacation, you'd probably want to live. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but this was like legitimately picturing ourselves like working and living down here. Um, you know, not because Disney's right there, not because Universal's right there. Like, to be honest, neither of us really cared to go to Universal. Um, that was more of Carol Ann because she was dying to see the Harry Potter world, which ended up being the coolest thing there. Um, Butterbeer is amazing. I would go there again and wait in those lines just to get a Butterbeer and then leave. Like, those were amazing. But um, it's just the weather. And that's another weird thing, too. I hate heat. Like, it'd be 80, 85 degrees. And I'm outside like, oh, my God, this is miserable. I hate it. And just be sweating and stuff. When we were down there, like... The first couple days were rough because it's like 90 degrees like bare minimum there it seems like but after a couple days like i had gotten used to it and like it didn't even phase me and living here in michigan like we've got summer we've got fall we've got winter and we've got a very brief spring but we've got summers where it's you know like 90 plus every single day close to 100 if not you know more with the heat index and then we've got winters where it's like literally negative 30 something degrees outside and as soon as you like your furnace is struggling to keep the house warm you go outside and it's just painful like just to walk from your front door to your mailbox you're like in physical pain because it's that cold the older i get the more i absolutely dread and hate winter um i'm a car guy so in winter what's that mean salt all over the road all the time at any given time you're driving on salt. And if there's not salt, there's salt dust from people driving on it and crumbling the little salt crystals up. And that just coats the bottom of your car. And what's salt do to metal? It makes it rust like crazy. You'll see a vehicle here that's like a, what is it? It's 2021 right now. You'll see a vehicle here from like 2017, 2018 that has rust like forming on the wheel wells and the undercarriage has rust all over it and stuff like that. You'll go to like somewhere like Florida or Georgia or Texas or something like that, find a 1995 vehicle that's got 250,000 miles on it that looks like it just came off the showroom floor. It's that alone to me is worth moving. That's not the reason I want to move, but that alone to me being a car guy 
makes moving completely worth it. But um, there's just there's a million reasons why we want to move, and you know I mean we could literally even change our mind and be like you know what we like Tennessee let's move to Tennessee. But we do really want to move like far sooner than later. Um, hopefully, like I said, within like two years. Um, We'd have big plans, big goal, I, big goals, I guess I should say. I don't want to say plans because nothing's set in stone. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of work on our house. If you haven't followed my channel, um, don't mind the mess and like the crappy edges here and the hole in the ceiling stuff. That's just, I'm in the middle of like three big projects right now. Um, I've got to finish painting the walls, you know, get those corners. Um, that's our big uh, vent for the furnace and stuff like that. Doing a lot of stuff here, but um that was my point though like we're doing a lot of stuff at this house you know a lot like we've lived here for like seven six seven years now and we really haven't done anything to it like we painted the walls and stuff but that's minor but like we're doing like big renovations now and you know it just makes your love for where you live grow that much more we love the house but we're doing things that we've dreamed of you know, when we were younger and bought the house that we were like, oh, there's no way, you know, we can't afford to do something like that or I don't have the skills to do something like that. So a couple years down the road, we might have done so much of the place and, you know, that we're just like, we love it here. You know, we only owe fairly small amount left that we can have paid off in probably a couple years. You know, let's just stay here. Or it might be a year from now that we're like, all right, I'm done. Sell this place. Let's go. Let's start fresh somewhere. So that's just kind of something i wanted to add to this video though um it was kind of when she was telling me about it i'm like seriously that's some of those comments i'm like really you wasted your time to type that but um yeah so it's not i just wanted to you know clear that air out that it's not you know simply because we were on vacation and it was fun um i actually my dad's side of the family um i don't know all who it was i know it was my dad's dad so you know my grandpa my grandma um a couple of my uncles an aunt and a lot of cousins um lived here in monroe actually fairly close by and they like i was little but they had moved down to florida um so you know i guess you could technically say it's in our blood um a lot of my family on my dad's side i believe actually lives down there but uh, unfortunately i don't have any contact with them um i haven't in decades uh they're no fault of my own i want to clear that you know put that out there but uh yeah so definitely something we're really interested in um, we love literally everything about it only thing that kind of scares us is you know the hurricanes but where we're at we're not like on the coast so i don't feel like you know i'm sure they would come through there but i don't feel like it would be devastating like they can be on the coast where you get the floods and you know the the insane you know 100 plus mile an hour winds and stuff like that like i feel like by the time it would reach where we were it would just be like a very nasty thunderstorm um you know we get stuff like that here where it's you know 50 60 70 even 80 mile an hour wind gusts and you know crazy rain and stuff like that but up here lots of tornadoes so you know it's kind of like a trade this for that type deal yeah if you guys actually watch this whole thing i do appreciate it you know like i said thumbs up really helps me out um yeah, we got any questions or comments or feedback or you know anything that you guys would want to see definitely always leave it on any video leave that stuff in the comments below um i try to check them i'll usually post a video and then wait till like the next day to check them that way you know i feel like most of the people who are going to watch that video have watched it and commented by then but uh yeah all right guys i will see you in the next video or vlog um like i said in that update video trying to post very regularly again um, I really want to crack down on this YouTube stuff and, you know, expand my channels um, and let them grow, you know, because I I literally like when I'm at work, I'm glued to YouTube, you know, when I'm at home working on projects, I'm glued to YouTube, you know, so hopefully I can be that person for, you know, somebody else, you know, that's, it's really cool to me to think that you guys actually sit here from wherever you're at and watch my videos. It's actually mind blowing because I feel like I'm a super boring lame person but you know some people would say otherwise so all right guys i appreciate all the love and support so i'll see you next time